My name's Imogen. My name's Imogen. My name's Imogen. My name's Imogen. I'm going to have to get in there. This is the first ever Science Uncovered live show. My name's Imogen and this is James. And we're really excited about what we've got coming up for you on this evening's show. DNA methylation occurs when methyl groups attach to the DNA sequence. This effectively hides some of the DNA and stops sections from being copied into the RNA. The first fireworks originated in China. It's thought that a cook accidentally created a firework by mixing sulphur, saltpeter and charcoal and lighting them inside a bamboo shoot, which created a colourful flame with a loud bang. So I'm here in the chemistry lab today and I've got some chemicals here that are sometimes used in fireworks. So let's take a look and see how they burn. So thanks to Megan for that special weather report all about snowflakes. So next up, I'm really, I've been excited about this all day, we're going to be making oobleck. It's a suspension That's instead funny. of a solution. Just so <gasps> when you put your sugar in your tea, really that makes a solution and it all yeah. dissolves. But when you put the corn flour into the water, the particles are suspended in the liquid. Yeah, go on, go for it. <laughs> So what that means is that when you punch it, all those particles are still there and they just compress together and make it into a solid. It's really, really weird. weird. Isn't it? So it's Monday of Freshers Week and we're going on a little tour of Brighton. Uh, so let's go and speak to some freshers. So I'm here with Elise. Um, Elise, what are you studying? Uh, I'm studying English. Okay. And have you been to Brighton before? This is Imogen. And this is Hannah. And we're here at the Pier Party, Freshers 2013. So we're going to go down to the pier now and see what's going on. What are you studying? Uh, politics and international relations. I had to think about that. Yeah. And are you enjoying the Pier Party tonight? Oh, it's so good. Welcome to Freshers 2013. Every year, around 90% of first year students catch some sort of illness in their first few weeks of university. It's commonly known as Freshers Flu. So what is it and why do so many people get it? The violin was invented over 500 years ago in Italy by lute maker Andrea Amati and today is one of the most popular instruments for children to learn. In more recent news, a very excited crowd gathered for the dissertation dash this Monday. With the music playing and the drinks flowing, the smiling crowd proved that this year's dissertation dash certainly did not disappoint. We're very lucky to have Ted Morrow with us. Thank you for joining us. Oh. Um, so Ted is a research scientist at the University of Sussex. Um, so Ted, you've had uh, a paper published recently that's been all over the news. Very exciting for Sussex. Fireworks are composed of an outer shell, an explosive, which is gunpowder, and a fuse. The fuse is lit, which ignites a small compartment of gunpowder in the bottom of the firework and propels it into the sky. So could there be aliens? Well, we now know that there's a high probability that we're not alone in the universe. However, aliens could be so different to us that if we saw one, would we even recognise it as alive? So you mentioned in your paper that um, the problems with introducing this mitochondrial DNA could affect males more than females. What's the reason for that? So, um... As you can see, our paper aeroplanes didn't fly very well. That's because anything that flies has to be carefully designed so that the right amount of various forces interact to keep it up in the air. So, uh, which drug is the most dangerous in terms of the potential of becoming addicted to it? New research has shown that mice may be able to sing in tune with one another. American scientists have discovered that when mice of different breeds are housed together, they can alter their vocal pitch to match that of the other mice. In the honeybee genome, methylation occurs at different points along the DNA sequence in workers compared to queens. Perhaps this could explain the striking physical and physiological differences between the two castes. We're now coming towards the end of the show. Oh, that's very sad. <laughs> um, as you can see behind us, we've got the Ukulele Society back with us. They're all ready for their grand finale. Uh, but first, Cheska, what was the end result of the quiz? Who won? Well